Make Better Wealth Decisions, a podcast that explores how financial advisors' blind spots can harm your investments. I'm your host, John DeGuy, a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. In this podcast, we'll provide advice on how you can achieve better outcomes by maximizing investments and minimizing taxes. Let's put our thinking caps on as we consciously decide to get smarter about our money. Tax planning is a year-round exercise, and it's the sort of thing that you should be thinking about throughout the year, but in particular as we head into the last month and a half of 2024. You've only got until the end of the year to make whatever decisions you need to make and take whatever steps you can take to minimize your tax bill, other than making an RRSP contribution, which you can do the first 60 days later. For many people, it makes sense to buy shares in flow through limited partnerships or flow through companies that offer tax deductions that will help you to reduce your tax liabilities. There are two ways that you can do this. If you're an accredited investor, you can buy shares directly through a private placement. You have to have a high income or a high net worth, but you can do it that way and get the access and the tax relief very quickly and take a, a risk of, of uh, the, the underlying commodity or the share in the company going up or down between when you buy it and when you sell it. If you're not an accredited investor, you can still get a tax relief for flow through shares by buying what's called a limited partnership. You don't have to be accredited. Anyone can buy a, a, a flow through limited partnership. You're buying also shares of companies that offer tax deductions, oftentimes in the mining space. And you're claiming those deductions against all sources of income in the year that you buy it. The problem is with the limited partnership, you probably have to hold it for 12 or 14 months and certainly over the course of a calendar year before you can actually sell. And that has different risks and limitations to it. Most notably, if the underlying stocks or the commodity drop, then you're going to have to hold on until such time that you can get out and it, you may have lost money in the process. At any rate, Buying shares in flow-through companies is the sort of thing that most people should consider if they have a tax problem. Now, just because you consider it doesn't mean you have to do it. It's the sort of thing that you should put on your radar. It's the tool that you have in your toolkit. It's one of the things that you can do if you feel that you have the appetite for this sort of tax relief. And especially if you're the sort of person that would otherwise be buying shares in mining and minerals companies at any rate, you may as well get the tax deduction while you're getting exposure to the sector. It's one of the many things that you should be thinking about as we get to the end of the calendar year. Good luck in doing your tax planning. John DeGuy is a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. The views expressed in this program are not to be construed as specific advice. It is recommended that you consult a qualified advisor before taking action. His books, The Professional Financial Advisor 4, Stand Up to the Financial Services Industry and Bullshift are available through Amazon and in bookstores throughout Canada. You can reach John at 647-STAND-UP. That's 647-782-6387 or at jdegui at designedsecurities.ca.